today I'm here to share with you an everyday makeup drawer. I just realized that the last time I did this was kind of a vlog style and I was just like filming in my Alex drawer over there and I was wearing the same shirt. You know what's funny? I hardly wear this shirt. Like I wear this shirt on the weekends but I never wear it like to school or like whatever. I literally wear this shirt on the weekends and that's it. Rarely. Like I don't even wear it. <laughs> like it's so weird. Anyway, so today is an everyday makeup drawer. I did this in January. It still feels like it's January. I did this in January. You guys really seem to love it. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll do it like every month. I'm not going to do it every week. Every weekend I come down in my beauty room and I change up my makeup. So like when I get, I get ready in my bathroom for school and then I keep that in my bathroom drawer. I've just been doing this recently. Um, so it's like Christmas. Before Christmas I would come down in my beauty room and get ready in the morning there. And then I realized, you know what, I need to sleep in more and just do my makeup in the bathroom and just go, go, go. So every weekend I come in my beauty room and I find products that I want to use throughout the week. And sometimes throughout the week I'll come in here and switch some out. But a lot of times this is what I use for the week. And I have a couple different options, but I pretty much just have like just a few products that I use and that's it. So I'm going to share with you what products I am going to be using this week in my everyday makeup drawer. And let's just hop right in and get started. You guys might be seeing repeats from like last one because a lot of times I'll keep a couple products if I'm really loving them and also you might see some from like my Ulta haul. A few of these products are probably going to be repeated because I'll be using different ones from my Ulta haul and stuff. So I'm going to take my NYX Hydro Touch Primer. I should probably wipe this out first. This is just my little container I keep in my bathroom drawer. So I'm going to take my NYX Hydro Touch Hydro Touch Hydro Touch Primer. Oh my goodness. And also my Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. You guys, I'm not joking you. This is my new favorite foundation my new favorite foundation. I, I'm, you guys, you're probably just blown away. I think it passed up my Roma Lasting Finish. I hope some of you guys just like fell off your chair when I said that because this week, last week, I was using this a lot and I had this on one day and I was like, this isn't satisfying me. This is my new favorite. <laughs> this one is just so good. This drives me crazy. It's like more of a natural finish. I love the applicator. You guys, this is like serious business here. This is passing my Rimmel Lasting finish up. I'm going to put both of these in there because I want to have, I like to have more than one foundation option. If you saw my Ulta haul, you would know I picked up the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour breathable. This is the original. This is the breathable. This foundation, I don't know how I feel about this. Every time I put it on, I feel like it makes my skin look like it's oxidizing crazy and I look orange. So uh, I'm still playing around with this. I don't think I love it. It could be the shade. I have 103 True Ivory instead of just 100 Ivory. Could be the shade. Could be because when I wear this, it's such a thin coverage that I like to put two layers. And sometimes when you put two layers, it makes it want to oxidize more. So I'll mess around with this a little bit more. Maybe, maybe I should throw this in with it. We'll see how much space I have in this container. But if I have enough space, I might throw this in there just to play around with it. Concealers, I'm taking my Catrice Liquid Camouflage and my Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. I love these both. This was in my Ulta haul. This I've been talking about for a long time now. Paired together, they're nice. For powder, I'm taking my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. You guys have talked about this so many times. And this e.l.f. under eye setting powder, because sometimes I don't want to use this powder since my skin's been so dry. A lot of times I won't put this powder on. I'll just set my under eye and then just leave the rest of my skin dewy. And I kind of like it like that too. But this is nice for my just simple under eye powder. I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Spotlight Palette, the highlighting one. Um, this is hip pan. I love this stuff so much. Some days I'm feeling more of just like a natural dewy glow. So then I'll take my makeup, makeup revolution, um, liquid highlighter in champagne. I really love this for a natural day. For bronzer, I'm going to take my makeup revolution vivid bake, baked bronzer. This one is still broken from my Ulta haul. I have not fixed it. It's fine. I'm wearing that today. I, I think I like it. Um, okay. Don't usually use blush. So I'm not going to bring that. Eyeshadow, I like this LA, so I got this in my Ulta haul, the LA Girl Eye Luxe Mesmerizing Shadow Quad in Urbanize. I love this so far. So good. I'm not a big eyeshadow person for like school days, so I usually don't even end up wearing eyeshadow, but if I do, I have an option. Okay, now I'm into this. The Catrice um, Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and Waterproof. This stuff, you guys, I'm not kidding you. I'm... This is all that's left. That makes me angry. My Ulta haul, 
I got my makeup products one week ago, and this is how much is left. This pencil is so creamy. It goes away so fast. I have never been through a brow pencil. I'm going to be saying I go through a brow pencil in a week and a half. I've never been through a brow pencil in a week. It takes me like three, four months to go through a brow pencil. Week and a half, this is gone. I will not be repurchasing this because of how creamy it is. I don't like it. I like my next one, I think, the best. So I like that I have a lighter shade, but no, I can't handle brow pencils that go through that fast. Um, and so I'm going to take my L'Oreal um, Shape and Fill angled one. I kind of mixed the two today, and I think it looks good. Oh, and then also if I want to gel the Essence Make Me Brow gel, this is in the shade Blondie Brows. It's a really light shade, but if I just kind of blend it out, it's nice. I don't like wearing a dark brow gel. It makes my lash or my brows look so dark. Okay, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Primer Potion for an eyeshadow primer. And I have three mascaras. These two are from my Ulta haul, the Catrice Glamandol and the Essence Volume Stylish Lash Extension. I'm still playing around with these. I don't think I... This is the same thing as that stupid Lash Paradise. Literally, that Lash Paradise made my lashes look good at first, and now it's like, bleh. Same thing with this. I literally, I think it's dry formula mascaras. I just can't handle the dry formulas. Um, but I do like the Catrice one pretty well. And then I'm just going to throw on my fit my lash sensational this one is a thicker formula and i think i like that too a lot of these are a lot thinner and i like this thicker formula it just goes on a lot better and then i'm taking my vaseline lip therapy in rosy lips i usually always just keep this is like the only lip product i have it's a little bit of a tint and it just looks nice nice little kind of pink tint i like for that you know this is what it looks like pretty organized i like to keep it pretty organized should i just throw in this I'll just throw this Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation just on top in case I feel like trying it. I probably won't because I'll just be too terrified that my face is going to be orange when I go to school. But these are all the products. I rushed that fast probably because my battery is blinking at me and it stresses me out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like these, please thumbs it up and let me know. It's just helpful for me to realize like, wow, they really like these. Like when I get a video that has so many thumbs up, I'm like, wow, maybe I should start doing more of that because so many people are enjoying that. So if you enjoy this type, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to catch some future videos. I hope you will stick around and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mother trucker. I just broke this thing even more.